Hello and welcome back. Let us now talk about video in painting. You basically already have all the tools to do video in painting. Remember, and I'm showing this in very slow motion, a video is a sequence of frames, a sequence of images. So we can basically use the tools that we develop for image in painting now in video in painting. How? For example, we can take in the cut and paste, instead of two-dimensional patches X, Y, we can consider three-dimensional patches X, Y, T and look them in the video. In the whole video, that will be very expensive, but we can look at them in segments of the video. We can also run the partial differential equations or the variational formulations, considering, for example, three-dimensional gradients. When we talk about curvature, we can consider the videos as surfaces and talk about surface curvatures like mean curvature or Gaussian curvature. So basically, the same type of concepts, Laplacian, we can take derivatives in the x, y, and t directions. Same type of concepts we can expand to do video in painting. And that's how today video in painting is done in the literature, extending those concepts that we saw for images. Now, video in painting has a bit of different characteristics. For example, here, let me just show you with the arrows. There are some objects that are static in the video. So they will never appear in any of the frames. And there are some objects that move in the video. So it's slightly different if we want to remove static objects than if we want to remove moving objects. For example, if we want to remove a moving object, all what we have to do is wait until it's gone in one of the future frames and copy from those frames into the current frame. So I want to remove this now. Look at my pointer. Now it's gone. So I basically can copy those, picture, those pixels from future frames into the current frame because the object is moving, the current background appears in some of the previous or some of the future frames. When the object is fixed, it's slightly different. The background is never revealed, but this cut and paste or partial differential equations or variational formulations will work there. So you could, if you want, make a distinction between these two and differently impaint each region or you could just let those techniques that we describe for images work with all the objects. Here we see an example of this video in painted with those combination of cut and paste and propagation of information as we have seen. We basically have removed a number of objects. We have removed basically this, this and this. We have removed both static and dynamic objects with those techniques without making any explicit distinction between them. Here is another example. And what we want to remove now, as you see, is this object. Remember, for in painting, you get the video as we got the image. You have to get the mask, a video with the mask. Now, of course, doing that by hand for video is much more time consuming than doing it by hand for still images. But we have techniques to do segmentation in video, as we have seen, for example, the Roto brush in Adobe's After Effects. And here is the result of basically removing this person or this mask. And you see, the video looks completely natural. We, it's very hard to realize for us that this is not the original video, but it actually is not and it's actually in-painted with this dynamic object. And now, here, we have a second example. This is an example that we have already seen in the past. And once again, we are basically removing one object and making you believe that it was the original video. This basically concludes our presentation of image and video in painting. We have seen very, very good techniques for doing this. And as we talked in the past, this is used a lot, for example, in the movie industry, but it's also used a lot to improve our own pictures, our own images, and remove objects 
that we don't like on those images. I hope you had fun. This is really a fun topic. You can make a lot of nice stuff with image and video and painting. Thank you very much, and I'm going to see you again next week. Thank you.